Hello, everyone. So thank you, Dina, for inviting me to give this talk. So I, was, I knew about this workshop, but I was not at all planning to be here. But in Accra, Ghana, then we were, um, with, I was with Dina, and she was telling me that, you know, what about, why not just give a short talk while you are here? So I agreed just to give, instead of like, it's not going to be anything about data science, but more like the things that have been working, which you might be interested and some of you might be already in the system, but if not, just you, you, you can join. So, so uh, Ten Academy is um, a data science uh, career management platform, and I will tell you slightly what that means, uh, I mean, in a very brief way. So, okay, I will just do this. So what is, in short, I'll just, uh, this is the summary, and what it does is it tries to give, so I am a cosmologist and I've been working in data for um, at least 10 years now. And, one, and then I have been involved also in different uh, data science trainings. Uh, there is a program called JEDI in South Africa, which we have been um, going and doing intensive one week, sometimes two weeks uh, data science, mostly for science, scientific research. But the one thing that I noticed is that every time you, you get trained and you get some skills, and then you go to search for a job, and you probably get a job because you are, you know, it will help you in the CV, but then you're not gonna use the skills that you have learned. And because the companies you are working on are not at that cutting age, or they probably are, mostly you can use it, I don't know, small Python, but mostly in Excel. And so there's like this, the pipeline is not efficient, so it would be nice if you can just have like the full pipeline targeted in one, so that means you get the training, so you are already have a talent, so this kind of workshops gives you a talent, but then that talent and that skill kind of is then matched to a, a, a career or a job. So that's what we are trying to do. It's basically just um, doing a full a closed loop data science career management platform, giving a small targeted training, but mostly interfacing with people, like with students, to see what kind of skill they are missing such that we measure and evaluate uh, your skill level and provide um, or recommend or this kind of concepts probably would be uh, useful if you want to do this kind of jobs. So that's, that's what it means. So, and so before doing it as a company, we were mostly doing, in 2017, we had um, just a pilot project. It was not a pilot project. That was just our really say, okay, let's do something. And then we, uh, we partnered with Assisi University in Ghana and also with uh, different, uh, different organizations support uh, our, uh, fund, our, our application. And we had 15 uh, countries in Africa represented out of 22 people. So it's like from all over Africa. And then they came in Assisi for one month's intensive program. And again, what I, as I said, what we want is to give them what they're missing and then to really place them in a job that they can use that skill. And so they were, yeah, like, so our main target is that we should really target a very highly talented, especially more potential, highly, uh, yeah, um, high potential uh, people in Africa. And that one, if you just take even a simple statistics, there are about 200,000 um, uh, students that are not going to the university even, just highly talented who could go to the university, but just because there isn't enough um, uh, service that they're not going to the university. So you could even just target that one only and plus, uh, plus more. And so we managed to place 20 of them out of the 22. So that's more than 90% uh, um, guarantee. So two of them outside Africa, but mostly in Africa. And then that allowed us, okay, how do we scale? So that was a very nice thing. So it would be, it is really nice. And we monitored for one year the people who got into the job. And we got a lot of feedback from the companies who hired them, is really they were happy. And then also from the students who are, uh, I, will, I will tell you what they did also like, um, okay. So why data science? I don't think I have to say that. And our model is basically, the first part is map talent. So that's uh, African wide uh, talent search. And that is one aspect of us, just really uh, target people not only just in the social medias, but also as much as possible use all the formal and informal uh, um, medias. And then in the, in the second part is just evaluate them. And that means just give them also the kind of the, the missing concepts, the missing skills. 
and we use um, like badges and known courses and other things if you if you want to know more about so we try to then put that skill that you learned such that companies and um, everyone who's interested could just be like could go and uh, and get your portfolio so basically then there is a portfolio management part and then we search we interface with companies who needs that skill and then you you get basically uh, placed so basically just the pipeline would be i mean this would be our metric it will be a lot more on intelligence and work ethic and change making and creativity and work readiness this would underline most of our uh, metric so you basically register with only your name and few like motivation letter basically uh, 200 words and then from that on you get placed into our system uh, where the first thing you will have is just lots of evaluations just to uh, understand which level you are and depending on that the cycle continues there is an upskilling part which is a micro courses targeted and whenever it's necessary, we also, it's not only we design courses ourselves, but also we use uh, online uh, free courses. And for some of them, uh, we have one, like the same as our 2017 platform, we have a one month um, intensive in-person training in different parts of Africa, but the next one will be in HSC again. And then basically we have a main other, you know, the half of our component is about jobs, searching jobs, getting jobs, connecting with jobs and finding out what they want, what skills they are looking for, and also they can learn also what skills are available. If they are coming, for example, to invest in Africa, that's one part where like, you know, what kind of skill set uh, the skill pool is. So make the skill pool accessible. And then this thing, in the, especially in that part, it's, you know. Um, okay, so we had, so our target is for this year, uh, it's about 190 people, hired so when we say fellows it means usually like placed into job and by next year it's a very aggressive we want to go we want to push it um, uh, to 1500 and by 2023 we want to reach at least 20k 12k and you might ask are there this much jobs that's our um, that's where like we are going to be tested quite a lot um, when, when we go to the 12k so it will be yeah um, so we have, as I said, half of our uh, effort is interfacing the companies and uh, learning from what kind of skill set they are missing. So there is this uh, skill gap uh, in Africa, which everyone is talking about, in particular in data science and, and um, the technologies that are uh, cutting edge. So we will try to address that one as well. Okay. So where we are at the moment, we have a smart engine that is running. Uh, we have about 1,000 um, students currently active in our platform, from uh, mostly from the five countries, uh, Ghana, Ethiopia, Nigeria, South Africa, and uh, Rwanda. But also there are a lot of other, um, uh, these are the dominant countries because we focus there. Finding jobs were much easier uh, in our 2017 uh, um, uh, pilot project. So that is running and we are preparing for another in-person training and we are expanding and fortunately there are a lot of um, positive news from different companies. For example, our ma main sponsor is Johnson & Johnson and then uh, also establishing trust with uh, uh, companies in Africa and abroad. Okay, and just because it's quick, I'm gonna pass. So our 2017 pilots, just to give you uh, an overview, this was about 55% women, 80% accepted fellows attended. And um, so the only request we have for people in the in-person training is that they come to the place we tell them uh, where the in-person training is. They don't pay for tuition or food or accommodation or anything, but they have to cover their uh, uh, transport. So, and 90% employed within three months. So that means 20 out of 22. And this was really, um, an amazing, so I think I can, I, I am not gonna read the entire, but if you want, you can go to tenacademy.org. So that's basically just our logo, but tenacademy.org is our website, and you can see all of this, um, and also in more detail how to apply and how to engage with us. Um, and so just to give you, 
two of our highlights from those uh, 20 people who are hired. So a pair of the 10 Academy Fellows uh, launched UCode in Mauritius and training uh, a lot of people. So this is one, um, um, one outcome from, from that pilot project. And another one, uh, again, a fellow started uh, Diagnose, which is an AI health startup and which was uh, in the top, I think, top 10 startups out of the 1,000 uh, startups. And um, it, it was actually presented in, the, uh, in Istanbul in, um, in the Gain Global in 2018. Okay. And our advisors, it's like we actually rely on people who know the education system. And so, so that we can continue. We're not only, we're not uh, competing with already existing institutions, but we are building on top of that. So, um, and these are basically just our partners currently. Thank you. And Thank you very much, uh, I wonder who is from Ten Academy. Is there anyone, actually? Good. Who are fellows of the Ten Academy? mentioned uh, Ethiopia, Kenya, yeah, Ghana. It's, it's good, yeah, it was a good question, okay. Yeah. So how, who, who have, did you hear Ten Academy before? Has anyone heard Ten Academy before? Uh, no. Uh, you, you heard at least one person, okay, we should do our marketing. Uh, good, good feedback. Okay. So, thank you very much. So if you have any questions, you can just, uh, you find my contact also in Tena. Uh -huh. So after, so once you are accepted based on the motivation, so there is a self-evaluation and uh, evaluations on technical terms. And that would benchmark which level of course you should take. So that would be like in the upper skill, you would be taking, you would self-evaluate and also take some, uh, based on that self-evaluation, you take certain challenges. And then that would tell us where you are such that we can recommend uh, which courses to take. Please check it out and let me know what you, I mean, if you have any questions, just send me an email. Great. Thank you very much. Thank you.